Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, I am Andrew and this here is Pi Pays Park. Um, I'm not really here to talk to you today about this particular park. I was on my way through the park heading towards my local nature reserve and I thought I'd stop here and explain to you exactly what I'm doing. This here is a wonderful park in an urban location not far outside of Birmingham city centre. We have here children's play areas, we've got tennis courts, We've even got a little pond for fishing as well. Um, but actually what I'm doing today is heading towards the nature reserve, which is just over the main road, right in front of me. Um, the reason I'm explaining this to you now is I don't know whereabouts I'll be able to start my video from just inside the nature reserve. So I thought I would let you know what I was doing and then head over there and start filming and taking photos. Today I'd like to try and have a go at a panorama and there's an ideal spot really within the nature reserve to do that but also I'd like to take a few pictures of the wildlife and maybe one or two standard landscapes and then you can see just how close we are to the urban landscape and how close we can get to nature while we're here. So it should be interesting, should be good fun. I'm almost at the main road now, so I'm going to have to stop recording for just a moment because it won't be safe to cross this road whilst recording. And I'll catch up with you again in just a few moments. Ladies and gentlemen, here I am now at the entrance to this nature reserve. It was once actually derelict industrial land which was reclaimed by Birmingham City Council back in 1991 and they've turned it into a nature reserve so that we can look after animals and nature and wildlife and it's a wonderful space not a very big space but it's there's a surprising amount of wildlife to actually look at here and i'm just at the little road now that leads up into the nature reserve just there behind me and across the road from where i am you can just see there that main road behind me and a little way over there is Pi Pays Park where I just was and I'm literally only a few hundred yards away from that now and heading into nature which is quite a surprise around urban spaces like this but let's go and have a look what we've got and I'll see you in there Just a short walk up that road from the main road we've now arrived inside the nature reserve itself and the place is absolutely wonderful. I'm going to show you around some of the ponds and rivers around here and then we'll take some photos and possibly get a panorama a little bit later on. Since Birmingham City Council reclaimed the land they've built into the area some of these wooden walkways to make it easier for visitors to walk around and I think it adds a nice touch to the nature and the wildlife around here. It allows us all to see what's going on and find out more about wildlife in our local area. Got a great composition here ladies and gents unfortunately my tripod head isn't particularly great so i don't know whether i'm going to be able to take a panorama here i found the perfect composition i found myself on a little wooden jetty that sticks out into the water right next to the dragonfly pool here in the nature reserve and what i'm trying to do is capture a panoramic panoramic view of that particular scene just there which I think is going to look great however I'm not sure if my camera is going to be able to do the job because my tripod head doesn't 
pan properly. I'll give it a go anyway and see how far I get and we'll have a look at the results at the end. Couple of things I discovered here ladies and gentlemen, don't do this when you're shooting a panorama. First of all this wooden jetty that I'm standing on isn't particularly sturdy so it keeps wobbling and moving around, there's plenty of vibration in it. So I'm finding it a little bit difficult to get the perfect shot every time. But I've given it a go anyway just to see what happens and hopefully the software that I use when I stitch these together will be able to stitch these anyway. The other thing that I noticed as well is that I've got a tripod with a three-way head on it but one of the issues I have is that when I try to pan my tripod left to right or right to left I'm also finding that it pans slightly up and down as well as that particular arm of the tripod where you unscrew and try to pan pans in two directions it's a bit awkward but I've tried to keep the horizon line level at all times in this image but we're going to have to wait and see what it looks like when I've finished. Also the other problem I found was that I've got moving subjects here, ducks just keep moving into the image. Now that can be alright depending on how quickly you're, shut you're shooting. So my shutter speed was at 1 125th of a second and I was at f22. So hopefully that will be quick enough that I'm not blurring the moving, moving subjects in the images. But also I was finding that I was having to use two hands to pan my camera because of the issue with the tripod head. However, I've recorded some images now. Hopefully, as I say, I'll be able to stitch these together when it comes to editing and post-processing. So we'll see how this one works out. But for now I'm going to move on and see if I can find something else to show you. Just wanted to show you just how close we are to the urban landscape here. That building there in front of me and behind the fence is the back of an industrial unit as part of an industrial estate. And as I pan around with the camera here, you can see there, there is Dragonfly Pool where I was just taking my panoramic shot. And that's really just how close we are to nature when we're in the urban landscape. We are literally just a few feet away from it and I just wanted to make that a bit more clear. This here is the Grey Lake here in the nature reserve. And as, you'll, as I pan the camera around here, just ignore that tree for a moment. But you can just see there over to the right hand side, there's more of that industrial estate that I just passed. And then as I continue to pan around, right behind me here, through those trees in front of me, is the Dragonfly Lake. I am now the other side of Dragonfly Pool from where I was taking that panoramic shot earlier. Pretty much directly opposite where that wooden jetty was. Just another reminder just how close we are in the urban landscape to nature. There is that industrial estate again and again the Grey Lake. Ladies and gentlemen I've just had to stop here by the Grey Lake. Just over there, I don't know if you can see it properly, just on that little bank of pebbles there. There's a heron just sitting there staring over into the water looking for fish. And I came across here and suddenly stopped and saw him on the other side of the lake, just around here. He was over there on that bank there. And so I stood and watched him and waited and he's flown across to that other bank there. But yeah, I was quite impressed to see a heron. It's not the first time I've seen a heron here. I've been here before when there's been a heron. I think it's probably the same one, but it's been a few years since I was last here, so you never know. But it's good to see them nesting around here. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here at the end of my journey now, and I just wanted to give you a quick recap 
I've been here at Plants Brook Nature Reserve trying to show off some of the nature and wildlife that's around within your urban landscapes. Um, we are literally just yards from a main road here and in a few minutes time I'll be back on that main road heading home. Um, what I really wanted to say to you was that it's always worth getting out and having a look to see what you can find because you never know what's literally on your doorstep. This nature reserve is one of the best places in Birmingham to come and see wildlife at its best. I was so happy earlier today to see that heron. I've seen him here before, but it's just an amazing thing to see a heron like that so close to an urban landscape as we are. Um, after leaving there, there wasn't really much going on, to be quite honest with you. I walked past another pool, which is known as the Black Pool, and no, not the place where the illuminations are going to be in a few days' time. This is just a pool which is known as the Black Pool here in the Nature Reserve. Um, I was trying to look for a decent composition just there, but I couldn't find anything, to be quite honest with you. It was all overgrown and there was nothing really to see. However, just at one point I did manage to come into a clearing where obviously somebody had been fishing because I noticed there was a fish hanging from a tree. I'm not kidding you, a fish hanging from a tree. And I think the reason it was there as I got a photo of it, it looked as though there was a hook still in the top of the fish and I think that somebody must have been trying to fish in that clearing and got their hook and line caught in the tree and the fish was still hanging there. I'll upload that picture as well with this video so you can see that and I've taken a few other shots as well that I'd like to add to the video. But for now, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate your support. Like, subscribe and share this video and I'll see you on the next video.